one owner car guy and what I've got here for you today is a beautiful one owner 1971 Oldsmobile Delta 88 Custom and it's got the Vogue top it's a 455 car absolutely beautiful whoever had this just maintained it beautifully um, I'm gonna do the once around twice around type thing here we'll go around and kinda give you a once around and then I'll go up close and show you any minor damage and flaws and stuff like that talk about anything wrong with it and show you underneath it show you inside of it and go on a test drive beautiful car like I say 455 big block my name's Nathan you can reach me anytime it's 406 544 6919 and my website is www.oneownercarguy.com and I do lots of these classic 70s and 80s GM Euro muscle classics you name it and I like one and two owner low mile cars this is no exception this is a beautiful low mile one owner car and it's got it's just a straight solid body that's just beautiful like I say Nathan 406 544 6919 you can reach me anytime www.oneownercarguy.com and now we'll go up and around and show you the rest of the car and everything in fact I'll start on this side about the only body damage is right here and I got a body guy dentless paint guy can take out about 95% of that right at the line you gotta take the door panel off now I'm just selling this cheap just getting rid of it I'm not gonna do anything to it it's original paint and stuff I don't see where it's been repainted and you got this little bit right here it's light across the trunk a little light in here I like these factory louvered type deal right along the edge here like this now that's it now the top is in great condition it seems like this thing's been kept inside look at around the seam there's lots of these out here and there's lots of people selling them and people just aren't going to show you around the seam like this because around this seam is usually pretty thrashed so continuing on going around it um, I left the American flag sticker older guy had it and just kind of cool didn't want to take it off all the chrome on this car as nice as can be left the parking permit on it and I don't know how that got it on it over time but there it is couple little chips there couple little chips coming down the side it's a ding here the trim is just beautiful and it's all there look at the man and that's I love them lights the look at them lights I have people want to buy parts off these like crazy from me how much for the back window how much for the door handle how much for the side trim this piece that piece no um, and we've been driving it so this wasn't cleaned all that well but as you can see it's just some stuff thrown up from the road little chips and scuff right here just slight and tiny chrome just looks absolutely amazing like I say if it's been painted they paid a heck of a lot of money and they did it right it does not look like it little chips a couple a couple just here and there like I say the chrome is beautiful Chips across the front piece here, little rock chips. I hope you can see I'll block the shadow. Kind of show you in that light also. And I always get up under these and show you the underneath. Look at these beautiful chrome. Had a plate to put on that. my low level light adjustment hit here
beautiful all season tires in great shape. You can see they got all kinds of tread left. Sears, baby. Hubcaps are beautiful. Your tranny pan is just as nice as it gets. Factory undercoating is still on the whole underneath of the car for the most part. The car's clean. The car needs nothing as far as the body, the paint, and the interior goes. Unless you want to fix that stuff on the back. Um, the motor has a knock on a push rod or a rod. I'm not sure which one. I haven't got too far in it. It runs good, drives good, starts good, shifts great. Everything like that is just as nice as it gets. However, it does have a tap, 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 no, 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 no. So, whether you put a different motor in it or take this one apart and redo it or what you do is up to you. Hey, that Ryan, I'm a poet and don't know it. No, I know it. So, that's the deal on this one, but you've got a beautiful, beautiful car. And I'll talk about the motor a little bit more a little while here obviously when we get it and go for a test drive now I gotta show you again this here just absolutely beautiful tiny tiny little specky hole there a specky hole what is that I don't know there's a tiny little bump right there chrome around the windows beautiful Glass all good. Chrome around every piece of chrome. There's so much trim on these. I've parted a few of them just because of that small chip here. Small chip start. It didn't chip it. It just dinked the top. If you know what I mean. Well, that's kind of a a good once around and a twice around. My name is Nathan. 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. Um, I think that guy just went by. And other than that, I got my phone going in my pocket here and all this. Um, and I'm about out of here. We're going to go for the test drive and can't talk right now. And on the stickers on the front here. Do you have a jumbo star? No, I don't. Sorry. Um, stickers there. Um, from the Department of Defense and they come off very nicely um, I didn't take them off just because it's the kind of person that had it uh, and I just kind of leave stuff like that usually uh, it's too bad I don't have jumper cables I've got about six sets at my yard that's a long ways away a little chip there a little ding there a little light spot right here. And a couple little scratch marks here. That's it. Um, this piece is loose. It needs to be clipped back on there. Um, I was going to put tape, but you can see the set screw and all. So we'll just kind of, I'll show you that in a second www.oneownercarguy.com Make sure and check out my other videos. I've got all sorts of them, about 700 of them on here. Um, and you can check them out and give me a call about any of them. We're going to go for a test drive and then I'm going to show you the interior. Um, actually, i got to show you these seats first. Look at this. Beautiful. Now I have the top surfaces of right here redone with this old retro matching thing. The headrests are original. Um, and you hear what I'm talking about. It is original 93,000 miles. You hear what I'm talking about on the motor right here. It kind of goes away at a higher rev, but at the same time I don't give it much of a higher rev because it's got an issue, and I don't want to hurt it any. And you see, you hear that there? I'm sure you do. And it kind of goes away halfway. 
but it's definitely an issue that needs to be taken care of. And I'm just driving it here because I want to show you how it, it runs and such. Um, truthfully, I would get it taken care of before driving it much, just because you know, I'm trying to roll the window down to where you can definitely hear. And sometimes it goes away totally. Like right now, there's nothing, and then right back a little. But now the car runs, drives, shifts awesomely. You can feel it lay you back in your seat. It's still got plenty of power. It's just, I think it's either a rod or a ring or something to that effect. Um, and the motor's gonna have to be taken out, most likely. Uh, there you can feel it, and I did. And you can hear it getting a little tabby there. And that's all I'm gonna do. We're just gonna put along home now. Um, I might give it one more good, you know, so it's all there. It's just got a problem in there somewhere. It runs great, man. Fires right up. Um, sometimes it goes away almost totally for a while. And then all of a sudden it'll come back a little bit when you start getting a little gas into it to go up a hill or something most likely usually. Most likely, usually. Yeah, well, that's a double, triple, negative, or a hop, or something there. Now, you get a slight pull to the right. Needs a little bit of an alignment, or um, caster camber adjustment up there. Something a little bit off. Not bad or anything, but you let off the wheel, and it'll pull you to the right just a tad. Well, that's a once around, a twice around, a, a drive around, and... Oh god, the power steering and everything on it. Great. But, uh, uh, it's not real wood, I don't think. But the wood looking stuff on the doors and such. Just, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, let me get this up here. And we'll kind of just do it right here to it. Now, it's in great shape everywhere. Dual ashtrays. Man, everybody be smoking. Now this is not the best place for my interior. So we're gonna back this thing up. Hey, you see how it starts there? It's sad that he's got an issue with it. And that is why the gentleman got rid of it. Um, and it's not cheap to fix if you're not in the industry and such but it is not a huge problem if you know a little bit about cars and you've worked on them a bit. Um, man, I'm trying to get you just perfect for seeing the interior. Now, it's got the seat belts like crazy here because you got the lap restraint things up here. Watch this. Um, no cracks in the dash. How do you like that? Dash is just beautiful. I'm gonna get a guy asked me for this one. Can I buy the dash? No. Can't just sell the dash. Triple A membership and handicap sticker and Maps like crazy, my man. Maps like crazy. You can drive anywhere you want here. Just, I think you're off California. Yeah. Down in Southern California. I'll leave them with it. You don't need to take them. Now, these sill pa door sill panels are in great shape. A few dings, like such. There. Um, these are not in great shape. They're kind of stained in places. But I'm here to tell you, underneath them, look at how beautiful. Kick panel, not even worn. 
just so nice. These things did their job and they protected and I think they're factory or just back when they made them with them holes in them. But I think for the size, you'd be for pretty much made for GM cars like this. Hole in the carpet right there for resting your foot, presumably. Man, this pedal is so clean. And I've got my foot dust on there from driving it around. Steering wheel. I hate when the steering wheel is off like that when I'm taking a picture. Little threads hanging down from this. No, <coughs> oh, didn't show you the door panel. Oh, and you can see the screw here. Hang on. Okay. It's for this piece. It clips on there. It's in great shape. air conditioning and it blows it doesn't blow it's cold though windows and locks all work um, look at these seats man just beautiful and like I said I just had them done I didn't have to have the sides done because they were great and actually the seats were fine too they were just getting thin in areas and he showed me his old school book it called it and it had these patterns in there that just looked amazing and you can see the headliner and stuff and the interior of this car look at the carpets this thing is just it's beautiful that will cause me to have a dead battery later i'm sure let me roll to the side where you can actually see the seats Beautiful car. I'm sure, yeah, that works. Chrome and everything's in great shape. All the plastic on everything's in great shape. Back of this was original and in great shape. Man, you got ashtrays everywhere. The car hasn't been smoked in from the smell of it or nothing. Um, no, what would you call it? No sign of that. little honk. Oh! Right there. Just to where you know. And right there it's starting. Well, I bumped my camera there trying to open things up and do things differently. Beautiful. A little bit, chewy, a little bit dry there and chewy. Um, but it's in great shape and it's just on the edges there. Up here it's not as dry and such. Look at the paint. I'm 99% sure it's factory paint. Um, it doesn't show signs of being repainted anywhere. Chrome, beautiful. Trunk, beautiful. Original speckle paint. Jack and everything's supposed to be sh 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 all screwed in there. Look at this. Could have vacuumed it out and such, but solid as can be. So I'll go ahead and show you the other side of the inside. It's just absolutely beautiful car. My buddy said, put some big old wheels on that. It will look nice, but I would hate to do something. It just depends on the car. And this car has been babied since it was new. You'd feel like he's just tearing it apart and stuff. I mean, it's just been taken care of. So beautifully factory undercoat and everything everywhere. I don't know if you can even see that. I hope so. Even the door trim here. All the chrome. Little chips, I showed you that. It's just beautiful. Show you under the hood. Chrome piece under the seat. Oh yeah. There's a split in this one. But it has done its job protecting. Little pad in there. Everything's in 
great shape. You know, I hate to say perfect on anything like this. It's in great shape. It's just folded over just a tad. This looks brand new. I think it's supposed to actually fold there and crease. That's so cool. This stuff is just so nice and clean. Little chippage in it right there. Did I show you that? I hope so. If not, there's that. A um, couple spots on the hood, like I said. I don't know what it is. It's not the paint coming off. It's like something dripped on it and kind of stained it a little bit. And the same thing right here in a couple spots. And right there. Get one like this. It's been properly taken care of. And it's definitely going to be easier to maintain because it just ain't got the problems one that ain't been maintained over the years. Look at the motor. It's just so clean and taken care of. AC, and on the AC, um, it does not blow cold, but everything spins freely. And the belt's on, it doesn't squeal and squabble. So it's 90% 90, 90 chance on these, it's a recharge. Um, I haven't put anything in it because it has not been converted. It's still R12. Um, and you can get that. Certain people still have it and such. Sure is clean. Power steering. All the bells and whistles. Power brakes. Nathan, 406-544-6919. Under the hood, just as nice as it can be. I don't know if it had a hood insulation pad or not. I don't think so on this one. I don't see. Oh wait, there's a hole. There's one there and one there. So I would think that it had one and it's gone. I have to set this down and see. Name's Nathan. It is 406. Little chips here I showed you. 544 6919. You've seen it all now. And I've got lots of these on my website, www.oneownercarguy.com. You can sign on there and see lots of them. Um, they're sending the dogs after me now. 406 544 6919. You can call me up. And I'll help you, I'll sell it to you and send it anywhere in the world. Netherlands, Finland, anywhere in Europe over there, uh, Switzerland, Sweden. It ranges between $14.95 to $19.95 for something this big. Um, and I want to show you this here. Especially the ones behind the wheels. That's usually where everything is all rusted and rotted out on these. This is a California car. Outside, inside, clean as can be. You just, it's going to be hard to find anything that's clean. I'll tell you that right now. So if you're looking for one, call me. I don't. These don't last long. And the shape of these parts is just beautiful. The chrome, the trim, the handles, you name it. And like I say, these will come right off. If you'd like, just specify it and I will make sure and destickerize it for you. Um, you know the hood pops just a tad on this side sticks up just a tad. I noticed that earlier. And you do that and it goes right down. So it just needs the adjustment bolt, tension and bolt tightened up on there. Grill's in great shape. That's another part that is always what to go on these 88s and 98s. Um, they are getting popular. This car can only go up in value. I mean that's all there is to it. Get it. Got it. Come and get it. It's cheap. And you just ain't going to get a deal like this anywhere. My name is Nathan, 406-544-6919. I'll send it anywhere. www.oneownercarguy.com Thanks for watching. Trying to think if there's anything I didn't show you on this car. Can't think of anything else. And we'll talk to you later.